And moving on to business news, Nigeria's tourism is underrated and has to come to light because of its enormous potentials to tackle the myriads of issues bedeviling the nation's economy. This was the position of the convener of the Destination Awards, Dunsin Olua Siju, at an event to showcase the hallmarks and beauty of Lagos. Details in this report. Became a blessing. The atmosphere here is serene and cozy. Lovers of Lagos have converged on this hall in celebration of the people, places, and institutions that make the state special. Don Sin Olua Shiju is the convener. He shares his vision that was born out of sheer love and passion to showcase the unsung sights and sounds of Lagos and indeed Nigeria. about Nigeria, about Nigeria's people, about Nigeria's places, and about Nigeria's cultures. Um, and I've been in Lagos for a while, so we decided let's start with Lagos. As the evening swings on, discussions on Nigeria's huge cultural heritage and its immense tourism endowments hold sway. We also catch up with Professor Abba Tijani, who oversees the nation's museums and monuments. He expresses delight about how Lagos is being celebrated. However, the professor is quick to give hints on efforts government has made in repatriating stolen artifacts. As a matter of fact, Lagos has about the most developed tourism attractions. And Lagos is one place I could say has destinations. Because a, a, a project or a product, a tourism product, cannot be said to be a destination unless it, it has certain components in place. And um, having been around, Lagos is about one place where you'd say has all the potential to be a huge tourism destination. But what is happening today is that, um, you know, where, where Nigeria has been making efforts to see that the stolen artifacts are returned to Nigeria. And for many years, Nigeria was not successful. But now, we've been able to reach out to different governments and different museums. And we're able to sign agreements. Dunsi Oluwa Shiju, a well-traveled enthusiast, reveals how blessed Nigeria is naturally, explaining that the tourism destination and experiences cannot be exhausted in Lagos and beyond. The tourism industry in Nigeria is underrated and it has to come to light because of, I mean, we have FX issues, we have forex issues, we have unemployment issues. Tourism is Nigeria's gold mine. I can talk about Lagos because we're doing Lagos today, but I can also talk about some other attractions. Everything you see in Lekki today, I can tell you, you see a replica of that in Ondo State. You know, they have, they have beaches as beautiful as what you have in there. So Nigeria is here to be discovered. We're also here to celebrate the people behind these destinations. We're here to celebrate the people that have put things together to make Destination Lagos absolutely special. So we're here to celebrate the people behind the experiences, the tourism experiences, the housing experiences, all the experiences, all the beautiful and wonderful experiences of Lagos. People, hotels, restaurants and resorts are awarded for making indelible impact on the city of Lagos as a book which captures the entire essence is unveiled. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.